Hey folks, Sturge here playing a uh, little StarCraft this time. Uh, thanks to the folks at Blizzard for hooking me up with some codes here. Uh, the game development conference in San Francisco, which was last week, is over. And uh, the fine folks at Blizzard Entertainment threw a party at 25 Lusk Restaurant and Lounge. Wherein uh, I met uh, Alice White, who was actually throwing the party for the talent acquisitions lead for Blizzard Entertainment. And also uh, Keisha Craner who I would really like to thank very, very much for giving me the opportunity to play this game. She sent me the game code, and I got the opportunity to uh, to shoot a video or try to record some of my gameplay for you here. Uh, it, it, that was really great. Uh, Keisha was handing out some great swag. Great, but we really did have a nice time. Uh, we had a good conversation. Maybe we had some tequila. I don't know, maybe. But, uh... Thank you again, Keisha, for uh, hooking me up with the codes here. I'm going to play this game a little bit. I've already gone a little bit into this particular uh, deal, but I do want to talk about how beautiful the game is and the audio and the visual and the and, and certainly the voice acting and the, and the consistency with the graphics and so forth. This is a game I played in 1998 upon its release at university. I played this on the land with many of my friends way back in the day. It seems like a long time ago, almost 20 years ago. Uh, obviously not this version of it and so this is much uh, much more beautiful much more graphically intense and uh, I'm so excited to play so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot into a mission that I played prior but uh, that way I can give you some commentary you have a terrifying swarm a giant Leviathan and a deadly grudge but you choose to stand around thanks Isha Isha Thanks, yeah. <laughs> yes, I choose to stand <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna get back to it. But, uh, yeah. What, what fun. Thanks, Blizzard Entertainment. Alice Fight, Keisha Craner, for giving me the opportunity to play this game. Here, well, without further ado, let's get into it. The Enemy Within. Isn't that, like, a standard. Oh, let's just play it. She doesn't say anything. One of your ships escaped. Then you need only await the Golden Armada. Your death will be swift. I'm sorry. For what? Slaughtering my people? For what I must do to you. <laughs> Your friends on that ship can sense you. They know they left one behind. No. But they can't warp you to their ship, because I'm blocking them. No! No! But if I drop the veil... Do not warp me in, Templar! Do not! You let the other Protoss take her? She will be their death. I have to tell you, that is amazing. It's like watching a movie. And a lot of times, I don't, I don't want those kinds of interludes in games, especially open world games. This isn't an open world game. But here, uh, gosh, I can suspend my disbelief. I can have fun. And, and basically, play a game, watch a movie with, you know, cutscenes. And these cutscenes are awesome. There's no, no glitch. Uh, the, the code is uh, beautiful. The graphics are beautiful. The, uh, the transitions are beautiful. And that's something that sometimes you don't see in... In really, in open world games, uh, and I'm not going to mention any of those right now. I just sometimes when I when I get off work, I'm going to sit back and I want to be entertained. And this is what this game does. And mind you, when I'm back in the you know in the in the late '90s when this game first came out, uh, I was playing and just it was awesome then. And, and that was just the early days of the internet. And now what do we have? And this is just going to get better. It, it, the graphics are going to get better. And so, uh, you know, I don't know. 20 years from now, we'll see. But let's play this mission. There. 
The Templar must be warned. Now. Listen carefully. This ship contains many dangers. Follow my commands and hide in the shadows. You will consume and grow. Infest this ship and kill every last Protoss on board. I love this. I'm a parasite. God, I dream of being a parasite, you know? No, I don't really dream of being a parasite. Anyway. Now go. Yeah, I got And you. spawn your brood. Uh, one of the things I really uh, have always loved about uh, the Blizzard games, especially uh, World of Warcraft, uh, Warcraft when it first came out, because I actually used to play that on a LAN as well, um, is uh, is fog of war. You know, you're looking down here and you see the fog, and you're like, eh, baby. total fog. So. That's always fun for me, uh, the fog, war situation. God, man. In, in the... This vessel is bloated with life. Yes, yes. Easy to find biomass. Uh, in, in those old days, uh, in the mid-90s, about 95, lived with a couple of buddies before I went off to university, and uh, we played just Warcraft all the time on our, on our local land, uh, in the house. Oh, here we go. A zealot. Use your parasitic invasion to hide within that creature. Good call. What was, what that? was that noise? Yes, yes, what was that noise? All right, he's gone. Consume your host and move on. Will do. Oh, yummy time. A little bit of biomass. Love this parasitic thing. It's so oh, cool. I need to go here. A sentry. Hide in the steam vents until it passes. There we go. Ooh. Magic shield. Priority one established. All other priorities rescinded. Patrolling. Yes, patrol. Weakling. Uh, it's pretty close. Uh, yes, yeah, so if we wait, we should be fine. What I was trying to say was uh, back in the days when I played uh, Warcraft on my LAN with my friends, yeah, I was about 95, uh, 96, and Gosh, we had a blast. I mean, that was just some of the coolest. Uh, I, I was lost. It's because I play the safe strategy when I play uh, Warcraft. And, and that's just, you know, that's part of upbringing and strategy games and noobishness. I've learned to be more aggressive in recent years and you know and, and to play there's no way around those zealots invade the ursodon and crush them to play with more a little bit more key commands so uh instead of using the cursor here because i'm in a window i couldn't record otherwise uh, i'm in a window here I, I need to be able to I just need to be able to move the screen around. This is the trick uh, that's working for me. Got it. And kill him. And so the Protoss think they have a few infested animals. They have no idea what they're up against. True. This guy's got sweet jaws. Oh, kill him. Isn't really what I wanted to do. Okay. Look at the fluidity of this gameplay. Uh, you don't see this in uh, open world games because even though there are open world games that have beautiful fluidity, they're glitch because there are other players playing. Now, I, I will get to that. I definitely do want to play some multiplayer and some co-op missions and stuff like that. But just for the 
uh, the campaign missions. These are amazing. Um, obviously, it's third person. I can't. Or third. Ursadon. <laughs> okay, that's not even funny. Terrible. But seriously, this is a. Um, that's what I love about this game. Amazing. Just. The time has come for you to grow into a brood mother. Yes, it is. Uh, that's why I'm enjoying this so very much. So, I think we consume our host. And we gain 100 biomass. Or up to 100 biomass. Safe place. Stop here. This area is safe from prying eyes. Evolve. Grow. Yes, sir. God, I love that graphic. Well, uh oh, there's something that's gonna happen here a little bit. I, I wanna show you. Uh, you're gonna like this, but... This game is... Yeah, you are Niadra. Yeah. This is your purpose. Spawn a brood. And destroy the Protoss. Kill them all. I live to serve. Why I like these missions is because it's not build a base, collect minerals, collect this, build more of this, spawn this, build houses, build battalions and upgrades and all this. I mean, that's definitely part of the game, but this particular mission isn't. Yeah, and it gets better as we go because it's so you know uh, unacceptable command yes of course it's uh it's pure entertainment but it isn't the standard you know build attack build attack i mean we did just build an attack but it's not uh, it's not the same the missions are at least interesting uh, they move you forward, and uh, and actually they just give you something fun to do. What you don't know is that I evolved these zerglings into something else, well, into this new form. Short, sure. uh, where to go? Kill these creatures! Yes, kill them. I can them. consume their biomass and use it to grow our brood. But kill that first. The zerg have infiltrated our vessel. Warriors, destroy them! So, what I like is that you can heal by just digging in. Look at that. Dig in. And once the, uh, we'll see a red dot coming down here on the, uh, the mini-map if, if it comes to attack us. Meanwhile, we've got this guy who needs some health. And that's what we're doing. We dug in. That's a pretty cool deal. I can heal on the fly. Oop! Get him! Done. We'll take back in. Yeah, everybody was mostly healed. The yeah, Hydra's good. Yeah, what a, what a cool aspect of the game. Um, it's kind of like why I, why I like playing. I, I'm gonna talk less though. I'm I'm just gonna start playing this the way I've done in the past, and uh, I want you to see. Why I have a good time with it, and then uh, and then a little commentary at the end here. But look at this: the graphics good, yeah, movements good, Niadra good. So we'll uh, we'll just keep going from here. Guide my brood. The hunt continues without question. As you do. Yes, my queen. The hunt continues. That's the part I love. When you take over something, look at this. It all grows. And it continues Without to grow. Without question. I love that. For the swarm. There. That structure powers the shield. The shield no longer blocks my path. 
Let us move forward. Our time has come. Unacceptable command. Alright, we need to grow some more Zergs. And then, he's off. Destroy the warp drive myself. I fear. Warning a warp drive breach has occurred. Evacuate immediately. Contain them. The Zerg must not breach the stasis chambers. Explosions have stopped. Wait, there is a disturbance in the chamber ahead. Emergency. Power failure detected. Awakening Protoss warriors from stasis. The hunt continues. It's time to evolve and expand your control over your brood, Niadra. given us one purpose, to destroy the Protoss. We will be prepared. We will serve again. Uh, I love that. Uh, while some of it may seem, uh, the voice acting may seem a bit cliche, it, it, you just suspend your disbelief and have a good time. I love that mission. That was a demonstration of just how much fun you can have and be entertained at the same time. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to play a few more of these. Uh, I, I may just you know, keep them simple. Certainly uh, just a way of thanking the folks at Blizzard Entertainment, Alice White and Keisha Craner 
for hooking me up. We, uh, I really had a good time. This is uh, I'm, I'm playing this in between uh, other games, and it's it's keeping me alive, you know, keeping me uh, entertained. I that's the ultimate key. I'm playing video games. Ah, oh, well, all right. Good times. Uh, Sturge out for now. See you soon.